We got quite the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game updates to go over in this video. A pretty big free-to-play title is headed to the PlayStation 4. Closed beta testing will be kicking off very soon. In light of the control news, let's talk about some games getting free updates. One that I am very excited for is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. That'll be getting a free PS5 upgrade for PS4 players. Dark Complete Edition, an awesome horror title, is coming to PS5 and PS4. Projection First Light, we got some details on that. And a brand new G.I. Joe game in Operation Blackout. That'll be coming October 13th. More on that at the end of this video. But first of all, Massively Multiplayer Online RPG Bless Unleashed is coming to PlayStation 4. Publishers Bandai Namco and Neowitz and developer Round 8 Studio have announced. A closed beta test for the PS4 version will run from August 20th to the 24th. If you are interested, you can also register to participate. We'll leave a link in the description box below. Bless Unleashed did first launch for Xbox One and Mark, there were listings online for a PlayStation 4 version, so I was of the mindset that at some point it would be coming to uh, PlayStation 4 as well, and it will be coming to PC via Steam in early 2021. The game notes, explore the massive and lively world with your friends or go at it alone on an epic adventure from the weapons you wield to the skills you learn, take full control of your character's actions and development. Every choice you make in the world of Bless will shape your destiny. Start unfolding your story now. An enormous open world adventure full of quests featuring original storylines that unfold before your very eyes. Vast and diverse landscapes teeming with life await you from the peaceful and beautiful forests of the Ribus Federation to the treacherous uncharted regions. Immerse yourself in the breathtaking landscapes. The more you explore, the more stories you'll encounter and experience. With the world still recovering from the disaster caused by the humans, the otherworldly Daemon looks to strike again, endure the destructive and horrible massacres committed by the longtime conspirators, and defend yourself from their threats with the support of the gods. An action-oriented and action-packed MMORPG full of formidable monsters, team up with your friends to eliminate threats lurking in the perilous dungeons and participate in breathtaking battles with powerful field bosses, earn honorary titles, and collect treasures if you can survive, that is, get blessed to develop and diversify your classes, mix and match up to five unique classes, and four Four distinct races in the world of Luminos to create your character worthy of receiving blessings from the gods. Master the unique combos of each class to overcome dangerous bosses and foes. You've got countless items and collectibles. Enhance the equipment obtained from your adventure to unleash your true power. Also collect rare skins that may have um, many have fallen to obtain. Play with others but stand out from the crowd. It's an MMORPG that lets you create your own story while playing with others. Complete quests with your buddies. Form deep bonds with fellow adventurers or even become allies and create a guild. Obviously that's going to be an element of of an MMO, the possibilities are endless, and you'll explore treacherous dungeons or test your metal against other on the player versus player battlefield, no matter how you cross paths from uh, form alliances with like-minded souls and become one. Now, I found this interesting because the MMO market on uh, PS4 is getting kind of competitive right now. Obviously, ESO, uh, but Final Fantasy XIV, bro, that free trial is absolutely nuts. I've actually been playing FF14 a little bit more recently, trying to get back into that game uh, pretty early on still, but... Uh, yeah, so you got FF14, the free trial is like nuts because you get to Heaven's Ward content, and Heaven's Ward is where it really starts to get good. Stormblood, I didn't think it was quite as good as Heaven's Ward, and Shadowbringers is obviously insane, and the narrative in that game is crazy, and Blessed Unleashed, that is uh, coming August 20th as far as a closed beta goes, but I just don't know what the competition is going to be like for your MMO hours, but this one does look very good graphically, and since it is action-oriented, I think it is going to be able to carve a uh, audience of its own, and at the end of the day, as a free-to-play People probably will just give it a chance and they'll make their decision after that. As far as sustainability goes, that's going to be something that's up to Bandai Namco and the developers and how much they want to invest into the game. All right, moving on from that, uh, you know, Control's not getting a free upgrade for those of you that spent $60 on the game and maybe spent $25 on that story expansion DLC, but how about Kenna Bridge of Spirits? It's getting a free PS5 upgrade for PS4 players, and this is a game that definitely caught a lot of attention when it was shown off at the PlayStation 5 reveal event. Uh, Kenna Bridge of Spirits was one of the many games that were really enthralling to consumers, and somebody tweeted at Kenna Bridge of Spirits' Twitter uh, Twitter handle at Ember Lamb saying, can you say if there's a PS4 to PS5 free upgrade of Kenna Bridge of Spirits? Yes, we don't have a time limit details yet, but the upgrade is slated to be free. So that is great. Unfortunately, we don't have an idea of exactly when it's going to be dropping on PS5, but that is pretty exciting nevertheless. Wish that it would be a universal thing where everyone was offering free upgrades, but obviously this is going to be a publisher to publisher thing. NBA 2K21 not going to be a free upgrade. Control not going to be a free upgrade. We'll see how the rest of the market does shake out and who decides to go with free upgrades for is who decides to go with paid upgrades or re-releasing new versions 
But honestly, it's kind of been normalized to remaster and re-release games, and I think from a developer and publisher standpoint, they realize that they can make a ton of money by re-releasing games. That's why you see remasters so much, and remasters inherently are a pretty good thing. It's just that, you know, a game like Control, where you already spent $60 on it, and it just came out a year ago, man. It's not like it's that old. Not getting a free upgrade, upgrade is uh, pretty stinging to me, so that's unfortunate. But as far as Kenna Bridge of Spirits go, you will be getting a free upgrade on that. Okay, Dark Complete Edition has been announced for PS5, Xbox Series X, PS4, X1, Switch, and PC. This one will be due out in December. Feardemic has announced Dark Complete Edition for PS5, Series X, PS4, X1, Switch, and PC, Steam, GOG. It will launch digitally in December and physically in early 2021. This was a game that was released very, very well on Steam. 1,385 Steam user reviews, just 1% shy of that, you know, aforementioned overwhelmingly positive reception that is so, you know, sought after, but it's 94%. Recent reviews, 45 reviews, 97% positive on that end, so recent reviews have been pretty positive as well. This one has a really, really dark art style and definitely has that invoking horror element of feel to it. More on the puzzle side, 3D look, definitely uh, want to keep your eyes on it. Got a lot of awards, so excited to see this one come out on uh, PlayStation 4 and 5. It's $9.99 on Steam right now with a discount, so you can check it out there if you'd like. I don't believe it's all too difficult to run. Yeah, the uh, system requirements aren't anything crazy, so if you want to play it on PC, go for it. Otherwise, it will be coming to PS4 and PS5 later this year in December. All right, moving on from that, we got Projection First Life for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. That'll be launching September 29th. It is an Illumination manipulation puzzle platformer dated for consoles and PC. This one looks pretty cool as well. It originally launched on Apple Arcade back in October of 2019. Now it's going to be coming to every other platform. Now, I know I said this recently about a game just a little while ago, but this one also really gives me vibes of Limbo. This is uh, being published by Blowfish Studios, and they definitely published some notable titles. Yeah, they've done some pretty notable stuff. Obey Me, couple of other games there as well. Projection First Life follows Greta on a puzzle platforming adventure through a mythological shadow puppet world as she embarks on a journey across cultures meeting legendary heroes. Noted to be a casual game based on the tags on Steam, but there is also a demo available on Steam, so I'm probably going to end up checking that out because the look of this game, pretty dark, pretty atmospheric, definitely, again, vibes of Limbo here. I feel like that's a comparison I've been making quite a bit, but hey, if that comparison is to be made, that's a very, very positive comparison. Hey, you want me to say inside again? Okay, it gives me vibes of inside instead of limbo so there you go with that that'll be out uh when is it september 29th so not too far away and lastly gi joe get the video game operation blackout announced for ps4 x1 switch and pc due out on october 13th this is going to be a team-based third-person shooter travel to monumental locations like cobra headquarters and the uss flag through an original story inspired by the 80s style comics take on 18 campaign missions featuring iconic ve vehicles and boss battles in single player or a local split screen co-op gi joe operation blackout features 12 12 playable characters including Duke, Snake Eyes, Cobra Commander, Destro, Roadblock, Storm Shadow, and more. Each soldier has their own unique powers and can be customized with a variety of weapons and skins. There's also multiplayer with modes such as Capture the Flag, Assault, and King of the Hill. We do have an announcement trailer. Doesn't look like a very big budget title, but we'll see how it turns out again as it drops on October 13th. But that's going to conclude this video again. Excited for the release of Bless Unleash, a free-to-play MMORPG. But again, with Final Fantasy XIV having that sick trial available, a lot of competition on that. And Kenna Bridge of Spirits is getting a free PlayStation 5 upgrade. Dark is coming to PS5 on uh, in December. 50% off right now on Steam if you do want to check that out. Projection for a slight onto PS4 September 29th and G.I. Joe Operation Blackout PS4 October 13th. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.